Hello there viewers, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. So, the last part of this series of DaVinci Resolve videos was about converting existing MP4s into a usable format for Resolve. This one is going to be about uh, what you can do if you use OBS or something that has similar settings available to just directly record videos that will work in Resolve with no conversion required. And I want to give a big thanks to Silent Robot for bringing these settings to my attention. Link to his channel will be in the description below. Anyway, this one's going to be a lot shorter than the previous two because it's very simple, actually. We're going to go under Settings, Output, Recording. Uh, since I'm currently recording, it's going to be grayed out for me, but uh, you're going to want to make sure that Output Mode at the top here is set to Advanced. Type is Custom Output FFmpeg. And then output to file, of course. File path is wherever you're saving your stuff to. You want the container to be MOV. And the bitrate is largely dependent on what type of video you're recording. Like if it's gameplay or something, you want it higher. If it's just screen capture like this, you don't really need it as high as I have it right now. But 60,000 is a pretty good sweet spot for everything I do, it seems. So I'm going to stick with this for now. I might tweak it from there. Um, I'm going to come back to the key from interval in a second. Video encoder, MPEG-4, audio bitrate, I have mine up at 320, 192 is a great sweet spot though. If it's lower, it will be a smaller file size, but the, with these settings, the file size has been just fine for me. And then audio encoder, same as I showed in the conversion video, PCM S24 LE, you can also do 16. Again, that'll be kind of lower quality, but also theoretically smaller file size. Play around with it, see what works best for you. Now, um, yeah, the audio tracks, that's just because I have several different devices. The first one has all of them on one, and then the other ones are separated because, you know, I also use OBS for streaming sometimes. Anyway, keyframe interval was the thing that tripped me up before. I think by default it's set to 250 like it is here, but when I was doing other testing of other settings before, I had it set lower to, like, 2, because um, that was what I was doing, like... When I've usually done like H.264 recordings, because I think having the lower keyframe interval made it like easier to edit in like uh, stuff that actually does take H.264s, like Caden Live and other, most of the free open source. Ed most editors that aren't Resolve, lower keyframe interval work better for that. But with these settings, leaving the keyframe interval at two for some reason gave me some like visual artifacting. So that was interesting, but. When I bumped it back up to 250, like I saw in one of Silent Robot's videos, the artifacting was gone. I was able to keep the bitrate at around where it is now, and everything was wonderful. So, once again, these are the settings that I recommend. Again, thank you to Silent Robot, and hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you for watching. And just to demonstrate that this does actually work, uh, this clip is recorded with those same settings, gonna drag it into Resolve, and here we go. It works just fine, and you get to keep all your separate audio tracks, so it is wonderful. All right, see you guys in the next one.